this video we're going to talk about a recent issue that we've got with the Laravel Valley which is not really working on Chrome uh, so I'll tell you the reason for this is that uh, the Chrome is redirecting uh, the HTTP uh, URL of your Valley uh, to HTTPS and that's why it's not working uh, this was uh, mentioned earlier also that you should not use a dot dev for development purposes uh, and the reason for that is is that uh, official dot uh, dev is an official top level domain and it should not be used for local development okay um, and chrome will force https on those these domains so i'll show you the issue that i have right now so first i'll go ahead and um, so this is my wordpress uh, site, site folder and i'm using command line okay and I'm going to show that to you that if I check valet links and put my password you will notice that uh, I have this uh, site address for my WordPress folder which is HTTP uh, wordpress.dev and I did this should open my WordPress site when I paste this uh, URL on my Chrome but when I enter this you can see that it's, it's directed HTTP to HTTPS and that's what the issue is happening with the Chrome right now so if I paste HTTP notice when I press enter it's taking to HTTPS and that is why the site is not opening so we need to fix that so how do we fix it the first thing we need to do is to change this dot dev domain to something else that we want for example we can change it to dot test we can change it to dot uh, com okay so let's say in this uh, example I'll show you if you, if you want to change this to dot test so that it doesn't direct redirect uh, you know our site URL to HTTPS uh, because as I explained that dot dev is an official top level domain it should not be used for local development and Chrome will force HTTPS on these domains so we should not use dot dev uh, and that's the issue that's been happening right now it's a recent issue Okay, so to fix that, uh, the first thing we need to do is change the domain, and we will change the domain by uh, valley, and then next command is domain. Okay, and let's say if you want to change it to test, and that's all we have to do, and you will notice that it will be changed to test. So earlier, all of our site links were to uh, were registered to dot dev and now it's going to be changed to dot test and then we will not have an issue um, okay so let's try valet links and now if you can see all of our site that was uh, you know, with a dot dev extension and all of them have been changed to dot test so now if I go ahead and go on to any of my sites let's say this one the Chrome will not redirect to that site. So I'm going to paste this address. I'm going to check, and you can see it works. Okay, so that's working now. Similarly, for WordPress, if I try to do that for WordPress, my test uh, dash site dot test and uh, now my wordpress is also working i'm not uh, activated any theme that's why it should be blank but it's working you don't get any page like site not found uh, and um, however if i go on wp admin and try to log in you'll notice that it'll say site can't be reached and the reason for this if you notice the url has changed to https wordpress dot dev wp login dot php because the word in the wordpress database uh, the url has still been saved to wordpress.dev okay so what we need to do is we need to change that in the database as well and we can do that by the wp uh, command line okay if you don't have the wordpress command line installed you can install it so what you can do is you can go on to wpcli.org you can go to command line and you can type curl and this link okay and then you can check uh, if the far file to verify if that's working so you can type this command and, and check 
and then finally to use the WP CLI from the command line you type WP make the file executable and move it to somewhere in your path for example this so type this hit enter again type this and hit enter so if you already have the Word, uh, WordPress command line installed WP CLI installed then no worries but if you don't then you can install it in this way once you've installed it um, using this particular link uh, once you have the WP CLI installed then what you need to do is um, you need to change the uh, link into the database so first you do the dry run okay just to ensure that you are running in the right command so what we need to do is we need to go to the uh, we need to type WP search replace HTTP and our previous um, site URL extension was dot dev we need to change it to dot test so that's what we need to write over here and then we'll do a dry run to see if it's working so you can see that 560 replacements to be made they are yet to be made because we have used dry run so it's not actually uh, been executed yet okay so you can see that in all of these uh, tables um, inside of the WP posts um, 454 replacements are supposed to be made okay so let's go ahead and run the same command but now this time without the dry run flag and if you go ahead and do that you can see now 560 replacements have been made and now if we go ahead and go back to our WordPress HTTP <coughs> WordPress dot test slash WP admin and now you can see that yes I'm able to log in okay <coughs> okay brilliant so now you can see that our dashboard has been logged in and now if I go ahead and activate any of the themes let's say if I activate um, 2015 and then if you click on WordPress you can see that now my site is working okay and it's no longer the uh, Chrome is no longer redirecting me to the HTTPS uh, it's redirecting me to just HTTP because if I copy this and if I paste it somewhere let's see here you can see just HTTP is no longer HTTPS the reason for this is because it's no longer dot dev it's changed to test hence the Chrome is not redirecting uh, the user to the HTTPS. Okay, so this, in this way we have fixed this issue, we resolved this issue. Okay, if you still have any questions, you can leave the comment and I'll be happy to help you with that. Thank you very much.